What is going on you guys, welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be coding some features on the M4 with Beamer Code. I have previously done this on my 435, so I thought why not see what features we have available on the M4. So uh, let's go to the car. Okay, so first thing you're going to need is an OBD adapter. I'm using VPeak, but if you have another one, that also could work. Alright, and then you're going to want to connect it to the car. Wait for the light to flash. And there you go. And then now you just want to put the car in accessory mode. Alright, so once you've done that, then you want to find your Beamer Code app. Mine's right here. You're going to want to hit connect. Find your OBD. Mine's right here. So I'm just going to connect to it. And then give it a second. And then just select your vehicle series. Mine's an M4. Also under 4 series. So so like that. Alright. And then once we're in. We can see our different sections. Um, I know I want to go to head unit. Because that's where most of the things that I want are in. And then I'll kind of showcase like some other cool stuff that there is to do. All right, and then once we're in, you can see our different options, like uh, for example, BMW ringtone, you can possibly change that. Um, you got a startup screen, startup animation. Um, so I do wanna see this, cause I did see that there's a variant two. I've never seen what the variant two looks like. So I do wanna have that selected just to see what it looks like. If you don't have tire pressure control, I would probably turn that on. It'll show you like your PSI and stuff like that. So it's very convenient. Um, Let's see what else they have in here. Um, sports display, so if you don't have it activated, you could possibly activate it in here. I did it on uh, one of my friend's older car, I think it was uh, 2012, and it didn't bring it, and then we were actually able to code it, so it's pretty cool. Um, something that I definitely wanna get rid of is the warning startup screen. So I'm gonna not activate that, and that's the little signal um, when you start the car that kinda like gives you a warning. Uh, besides that, I already have that on. I think everything that I want is already here. Selected, so I'm gonna hit code. I'm gonna do startup coding, and then just let it do its thing. And usually while you're coding, it'll start throwing like some codes, but it's nothing to worry about. So right now it's restarting the ECU, and there you go. Um, so I did, while it was restarting, I did see the uh, startup, and I do not like it. <laughs> it just says like BMW Connect iDrive, so we're actually gonna change that back. To variant one and um, I'm gonna code that again okay so we have changed that back thank God um, okay so I know I also wanted to go to instrument cluster and in here um, you have stuff like your startup logo which is pretty cool I remember on the 435 I put the uh, M performance one right here and yeah it's, it's a pretty cool option so when you start up the car um, you got like a little M performance logo which is pretty nice um, but I'm gonna keep it as is and then what I was looking for is actually not in here. Okay, so it's actually on front electronic module. So let's click that. All right, and we're in. And the one that I was looking for is, let's see, this one right here, window lifter interrupt when opening doors. Essentially, just like when you open the door, if you were closing the window, um, it just stops because you open the door. And that can be annoying sometimes. So I'm gonna just deactivate that. And, uh, but you do have some really cool stuff in here, like uh, um, if you like to shut off the iDrive as soon as you open the door, that's also something that you can do. Some other stuff like uh, uh, like the unfold and fold mirrors, if you don't already have it on, you can potentially uh, put it on the car, so when you lock the car, the mirrors fold, and then when you unlock it, the mirrors unfold. Um, I don't really want that, so. And you also have a steering wheel with paddles, so if you are um, coming from a vehicle that does not have paddles and you want to code that in um, you also can and then we got a couple other features in here not that I really want to mess with but um, yeah they are here in case you guys need them all right so I'm gonna hit code and then we just gotta wait for it again okay uh, besides that like I said there is some other cool stuff I know if you go in here in advanced crash safety module um, you have like the little seatbelt reminder and I know some people would like to possibly get that off. It's just like whenever you don't have the seatbelt so it doesn't remind you. Um, I personally don't really care for it but it would be right here. So I'm gonna wait for it to load and then I'm gonna show you guys what your options are. All right, so as you can see, you got the seatbelt reminder and some other cool options that I'm not really gonna talk about right now. Um, so you also have like air conditioning if you wanna mess with that. Um, all view camera. Um, you could also do like the LCI headlights if you need to code them in or the tail lights. You could also code that in here. Um, besides that, I mean, all the other stuff is gonna be kind of self-explanatory. That's honestly all I'm gonna code because this car really just comes with everything already that I at least want. So uh, I'm just gonna disconnect since I'm done. And that's it. 
and you don't actually have to have it connected to keep what you coded so this you can put away all right guys but we've come to the end of the video i did this video on the 435 so i thought i would do it on the m4 there honestly is some really cool features to take advantage of if you already don't have them so uh definitely check it out but if you guys enjoyed make sure you smash that like button uh leave a comment if you have any questions and subscribe so you guys don't miss out on any content but with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one later